I wanted to get on camera to talk about a video Josephia Rosado here on YouTube posted about a painful experience she went through after using Shikai Kai in her hair. Um, if you don't know, Shikai Kai is an Ayurvedic ingredient you can use to wash your hair. I posted a video on it in the past, so I covered how it works, how to mix it, and how to use it in your hair. If you haven't seen it already, I put the link to that video below. Basically, Josephia got some Shikai Kai in her eye and went through a miserable, miserable ordeal. So I figured it would be a good idea for me to hop on camera and give you some more information on this. First, let me start by saying, by no means do you have to stop using Shikai Kai. It's not dangerous or harmful unless it gets into your eye for two reasons. Shikai Kai may look like a harmless smooth powder, but if you take a closer look, the particles are sharp and jagged, same with clays and other powders. So if it gets into your eye, it'll lodge itself into the soft tissue and it's not gonna get out unless you dissolve or absorb it somehow. So it makes sense that after all the confusion and back and forth at the hospital Josephia went through, what ended up working was green clay. Because little by little, the green clay sucked out the Shikai Kai particles lodged in her eye. Josephia, your mom is a smart lady and she saved your eye. Thank God for mothers. Another potential threat Shikai Kai poses to the eye has to do with its saponin content. Saponin is considered a toxin, but don't freak out. There's not enough in Shikai Kai to harm us. It's a chemical that all types of plants use to protect themselves from disease. Some have more than others. Shikai Kai happens to have a good amount. In fact, that's how it's able to clean your scalp so well. Saponin is super toxic to potentially harmful microorganisms in our scalp that may want to start some trouble. So it's super cleansing. But if it gets in your eye or you inhale it, it can cause a lot of irritation. These straight out of nature ingredients that we use on our hair and skin are powerful. That's why they work so well. But we need to keep in mind that they're medicine and they need to be handled with care and knowledge. Don't let what happened to Josephia discourage you. Instead, use it as a learning opportunity to expand on what you already know. Josephia, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us so honestly. I'm just happy to hear that you recovered, girl. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.